Hiya there, it's uh, Xavier down the bottom of the garden again and today's Easter challenge is all about finding out just how much my kids respect and love me because they all say that they watch my videos and in fact they're the only ones who probably do watch my videos and there's at least one if not maybe two who definitely make a point of making comments so we'll actually find out if when they make all these comments they've actually been watching at all. So what I've done is I've got four of my uh, cuttings from four or five years ago and, uh, <laughs> and they're going to be required to go through the basic techniques of assessing them, looking at them, deciding what they want to do with them based on the knowledge they've picked up watching my very, very good videos. They're going to do a bit of root pruning and they've got their own little chopsticks which will break. Then they're going to have the option then to do some pruning, cutting, they may even want to do some wiring if they want, they can ask me questions. Um, and then I've got some pre-prepared soil here and you all know how I make this up. So they'll be able to do that. They've got little plastic pots which they'll uh, they'll have to demonstrate the ability to put some uh, some mesh in there. If they decide they are going to secure their bonsais, they've got some wire pre-cut because like Blue Peter I pre-cut everything because I don't want them to get cut because I look after my children. There's a range of tools here. Some of them are my expensive tools but uh, I knew it. I said as soon as I start this someone will start lawn mowing. Uh, so anyway, so this is the uh, bonsai bash Easter surprise. So we'll let the four come on and they can ask me questions, but apart from that, I'll let them sort it out. There is enough there that if you cut it appropriately, it will form the base that you need for there. Grab your tree, and the first thing is if you want to find to find your Katrina, put it back. <laughs> this is my tree. Okay. This is a quality tree right here. You decide which trees you want, you think about it, plan it, and then ask me questions. You can even introduce us as Katarina. I'm, I'm obviously the bonsai expert You could all come on here. at the same time. These are all trees okay. and they you don't all have leaves. So we're all going to store it off for a good start. Tamara. Now you go. Actually, James. Actually, I think I like your tree. You can't have two. And Lexi, <laughs> who plays the piano. Wait, I have to oh, assess. And little Zeta so might be giving yeah. advice as well. When do you want? I'm just... I mean, really? They She's reaching for it. I don't... This one's a bit short. Have you got a little pot we can put our rings and things in? Yeah. No. Okay, we're assessing. Rings are off. It moves. So, of course, from my Unleashed. videos, what's the first thing you've learned you're going to do? I see Lexi's looking at it. She's assessing it. She's so deciding where decide the best where. movement is in the I trunk. I've got weed in mine. Uh, Who weed in yours? <laughs> weed. I think I might make a cutting of this. Like chunk the Trump. rubbish. Chuck Straight the there. there. Make sure there's a crown, <laughs> Make a nice stub. <laughs> now. I can see a crown right here, just on the corner there. You get marks. Off the crown. You get marks, by the way, for preparation and thought, style and pruning technique, roots and securing. Since when did it become an exam? It did. Oh, because it's a prize at the end of it. <laughs> I want... Oi! You put dirt on my feet. I'll put dirt on my face in a second. Can I have the nail clippers? Which are the nail clippers? The ones that I cut my nails with last time. <laughs> I'll take one of them. Roots. Okay, if you look behind you, the wire is for securing the um the mesh pot. Ow. <coughs> Remember, like you may actually be able to bend it over once you take all take it out of the pot. So your line may actually not be as you're seeing it now. It may actually be on the angle. Which means you don't really want to prune until you yeah, know which until way you're you going. Know which way you're going. Well, there's a 50-50. The trouble is, is once you take it out of the pot and start root pruning, you're not going to have any stability. It's up to you. It, either way can work. I take this branch off because I want my tree to go over like that. <clears throat> Although you've got to leave a bit of weight because it's meant to. Mm. That's crossing over, so I don't know if I want that. Although, that's my finger gone. I could wire it. <laughs> it looks like rosemary. It does, doesn't it? I was mm. thinking a bit of rosemary. A little bit of lamb. Mm. It's more like a mint. No. It's not like mint. No. No, it's sleep. It's rosemary. Not rosemary. Rosemary doesn't look like that. Yes, it does. It it's does. got the little leaves. And then you do that. <laughs> and then you do what? <laughs> what? <laughs> little bit of dust. A little bit of little bit seasoning. Of dust. <laughs> I am going to get rid of that one because it's just going to cross the other one. Cut them all the way there we go. I am thinking I want it to look nice and clean. Clean? How big do you think it's going to be? Does it matter? 
Look how big that is. So compare it to the size of the branches and where you might have, you might be bringing it in really, really tight. Mm. Oh, they might clean, clean a lower branch. That's true, that's very good. So then I can see the line better, otherwise there's too many things take away the energy of the tree. It's a lot of pressure. The probable height of those is no more than about seven inch. Yeah. So if you look at your brand, yes, that's it. First good decision of the day. Get rid of me. all the big big branches, which you really don't need. What I say there is he's looking at is potentially something called a broom style. So we have lots of branches, and you could do that as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because then I can turn it upside down and start brushing the floor. <laughs> now I can come by and give a little bit of advice. That's why I like that my children. No, they don't want any advice at all. Alex, what are you doing there? You're building a skyscraper. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take this one off and add it to the top of here. <laughs> yes, so how tall is your bonsai going to be, do you think? Okay. Okay, but like, you know when you cut, you go, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, what's the plan? You, you cut, cut something. <laughs> no idea what. I, felt, I saw yours and I was like, oh, that looks nice. I'm like, mine doesn't quite like that. <laughs> I like the skyscraper idea. Do you know whether you're going to use any of that? No, not really. Right, well, so... I'm not sure how much that's what I'm trying to decide how far else I'm going to So if I suggested to all of you, your bonsai height is probably not going to be much more than that. Yeah, I'm happy So anything that. So anything higher than that, would it be a good idea you could perhaps remove? If you have a look, if you've got little shoots coming off, that's remove yeah, there, and the same here. So you've got some shoots that you may think of. You think which shoot is going to grow up? I mean, Just that's all right, hurt. isn't it? It is, but there's one area there. <laughs> Come, give me animation. <laughs> so this is good, right? Because that grows, that grows, and that's a nice little shape there. Okay. So. Now, do you think that that big thing? We'll put it there, so all the lovely viewers are watching. Do you think that is in proportion to the trunk going up there? It's a bit thicker. It's a bit thicker, so like and then that could become a branch. You cut there, so it depends. You may well want to put there. Put it sideways. Do you mean it? Well, that's so that's like, yeah. It's more like and once that. once you take that out and start that getting would all the dirt off. That would be much nicer. So get rid of that branch. So you. Can you got get... something to get rid of the poo though. I mean, it's, I keep worrying, but I put my hand in it. No. Oh, oh, just oh. rubbed it in. It's fine, it's fine, it won't hurt you. We don't need that. Much. Right, I've got a question. Why there not? you go, okay. No, don't put that there. Right, okay. Right, so, I'm in a dilemma with this one here. Okay. Because uh, it's so low right. nice down, but okay. I like that. So if we look at it, what we try to avoid is 90 oh. degree angles. You're already onto the left. So, if you cut, right, where, where you cut that over? middle one out, that right. one there, yeah. you're going to be anywhere. left with a big, with a big 90 hold. degree. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, you your nice choice may be here. to keep that one and that Maybe one, or that one, that one and that one, and remove either that side one or that side one. See, I don't like this side one as much, but, but I like how this one splits to the top, but then... But then you also have to think about this like, one goes downwards. downwards. And yeah. that may not be attractive anyway. Exactly. I don't like it. So again, you may reach the point where you go, actually, I want to have a look and see what the roots are like, because I want to know whether or not I'll be putting on the side. So that I'm may kind of at the same point now. So you may be at the same point. Yeah. Tap your natural self, your Stop natural id. 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 Bless you. It's your plan. <laughs> right. Now I'm going to do a camera. <laughs> oh dear. A camera. That's right. just rude. So let's have an update on where we're at. Let's have a look, see what Lexi's got going. Can't get the wire out. Trying to get the wire out. Okay. I want to brush my hair with this. Oh, it's so she's going to wire something. James has also got wire. At uh, 13 pounds a roll, let's see how much of that he uses. Katerina, yeah, she's got the dilemma. Well, she's got her pot done, that's good, that's good. I'm just trying to think whether I. You've got that skinny one. Or I don't I'll give you here. That could be one that could be a semi cascade where that's it actually goes downwards. Oh. No, no, that's why I'm so. wondering, I need to know what the roots are like, but I don't want to pull it all out because yeah. then all the mud's going to go in my No, that's fine. Yeah, that's, there's nothing here, you can yeah, get the mud everywhere. You just do your best. 
Tamara's just uh, wiggling it. Can we use these oh. to cut the wire? Is it not a good idea? No, the, uh, use the wire cutters. Which ones are the wire cutters? Okay, James. I'm hoping that you can work out what wire cutters look like. There you go. I mean, that's the... This is all very... So, get your chopstick. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to loosen up a bit. I don't want to break it. I'm killing it. But like, again with your wiring, you just keep firm, hold, and make sure you try not to take too many buds off. Hmm, might be failing on that aspect. And then you'll find out whether you've got the right wire thickness because it'll either stay in place when you start doing the bend with or it won't. And if it doesn't? Yeah. That's it, let's get to those roots. I've got it loosening a bit now. Oh, it's all over my feet. It's all over your what? My feet. Your feet. So you haven't got bonsai boots on? Of course not. <laughs> now with wiring, support and slowly to see whether or not it's going to bend. And you bend in the direction you did the bend, the, the wires. If you went like that, you would be bending in the direction. So Why not doing that? But you should have told me that before I started winding it. Yeah, well, I didn't say it was going to be perfect. So I need the thicker wire now then for the other trunk. Well, I'm going to suggest to you that you're not going to be able to wire the other, the other trunk like wire. We're going to look like Jekyll bro. Oh, it might, well, okay, no, it may do. Do but I need you, something more like that you, one? It's thicker? No, you want even thicker on that one. Oh, okay. Really difficult to... Where's oh, the thick? that's like... Where's okay. That's a lot of wire. Yeah! Come back a bit. Did back you deliberately water these first so they'd be really wet okay. and baggy? Yeah, I think he did. They got watered this morning. <laughs> Lovely. So we've got two of them on the left there who are well and truly getting into that root yeah. ball. How are you finding the consistency of the root ball? Really, really thick, thick and matted. Yeah. yeah. There's so many roots. It's, it it's really, yeah. Where's the big ones? James, how are you finding? You getting I'm your wiring going all right? Um, well, we'll see at the end, I suppose. It seems, seems to be working. I but... mean, hmm. oh, just taking a bit of You're going to do a double knot. That, that's not bad. It looks like you've got some good wiring technique there. Did you learn that on one of my videos? Yes. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Because you don't wire like that. No. I, <laughs> you watch Nigel. I watch Nigel. Well, Nigel doesn't wire. Oh. Does he not? Or no. Shape. It's against the laws of nature. Come and Look at the long one on this. Okay. Chop it. Chop it. Cut. Cut. I'm going to get it. I do like what you're doing, James. That's going to be really, really interesting. And you could actually argue, once you've wired those two, they're your two main branches. You might actually say, I'll get rid of spreading those down. I really um, look have a look and see how many branches legs. are coming like, from lower oh, down. You might say, because this, you want to get it as close to ready today, but actually you're developing for the future. So yeah. it may be that actually what you're doing with those two main like, branches, that's all like you need. So You've got some small ones coming up and you actually might consider getting rid of a lot of I think of I'll get rid of stuff. that one. I left yeah. it because I wasn't certain with the shape at the time. Just flicked it in my eye. No, no, it was me. I flicked it in my own eye. Hold on. Tamara here has found in the bottom of hers a really hard central core root. They're the tap roots. Bone damage. They're the ones you want to be removing. So you want to get your yeah, little the dirty things and you want to cut them out. Okay. Is that because they're too hard? You just don't want them at all. So you see that? Mm -hmm. So you want to be cutting those out. Okay. I'm going to the big tap roots. Yeah. Because all those little white, because one, it's not going to sit in the pot. But if you imagine when you want it, you want the roots to go out. So anything like this, which laterally. is a bit harder. You get rid of get rid of because you've got a lot of roots at the top of the surface here yeah, that you're going to you want them to spread you want them to get bigger um you can, actually, you can actually survive with quite a few oh i like that's quite a little wiring there yes i thought you know then it follows when it goes sideways it's actually got yeah two shapes yeah one. Okay. see i actually quite like i quite like this one here I like the strut when it does that, the fruit is visible. So if you get your chops, it just steer it around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the birds. <laughs> okay. They're both working on their root systems there, that's lovely. James, we really like what you're doing with the wire. Oh, I'm ruining my wire. You're ruining your wire, well... It's alright, I can wire it again. Well, I can reposition it slightly. Yeah. Look, it's a nice little. Yeah, I like that as well. I've got one that's at the bottom. Clean it off. Lovely. Lovely. 
And again, Alex, you find there that once you've actually got those roots untangled, you can get a pair of shears and just chop it all off and literally cut straight across the base. Um, yeah. And I'm going to really enjoy cleaning my tools up. Really. Yeah. So really, this bit as well is just sticking um, up. The scissors don't work. They, they might work, but. Well, they've just gnarled that root. Yeah, I saw how you were doing it. There's, Gnarly! There's learning lessons See, here. See, that works. These ones lessons. work. These ones are good ones. They're good ones. not to do. You see why I use Don't my old ones, because they're sharper. I'm liking that. So now, I actually know where the front of my tree is. Ah, no, there you go. Now, there's a bonus point that's just come up there. Someone has actually said, where's the front of their tree? Oh, I know where the front of my I tree is. Said well, that. you didn't Too say late. it. I well, I didn't realise they were on me. I had already. I'm the winner. Tammy's already got a mark for a front of the James has definitely got a wiring point. I wired mine. I said front of the tree. I was, like, I was just, small. I was sitting there. I have an anchor point. Weighing it all up. I don't tell yes. everybody my plans. Well, Lacey was definitely thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thoughtful. Well done. Like coffee pot, Roger. <laughs> Why is that the front? Because I can sit it sideways like this and I really like the root, the way the root curls over the branch here okay. and the shape of it coming out. Oh, you don't need it. We're doing it. Yeah, we're shopping. Do. It's, it's going. Figure out. It's going. I don't know how close, oh actually I've got to leave some space don't I, so it can do its thingy. Okay. It's, thingy. it's um, what's the word, the roll neck. The roll neck, oh you're thinking about the healing. Yeah, because if I cut too far, too close then it can't, can it? You'll be alright there. It's gone. Point, it's it? gone. It's gone. <laughs> so here we go then. <laughs> I tried. So I don't want any big thick roots, do I? No, because they won't fit in the uh, pot. Okay. Which I is the root, right? Can they the same root thing as No, 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 no. <laughs> Which one's the root ones? Right, you know the old ones? Yeah. Bastards, it's not always best. Exactly. It is, it's the one who wins the race, isn't it? First the worst. That's because that was made up by someone who lost. <laughs> yeah, only someone who lost to say that. Yes? When you get these yeah, roots that come up so high, like in a... Yeah. What do you do with them? Yeah. Well, if you've already got yeah. quite a lot of roots coming off the base, Yeah. Then they're the ones it, that like, the crossing roots so you remove. That's what I was thinking. So you cut them as close to the, the trunk line like as you can. Point, okay. And then you find out whether you're right that there's not a lot of roots on the end of them. Because sometimes you cut them and you go, oh, that's, that's pretty well all the roots. That's literally to the base there, right around the tree. Is there no actual real soil? That is soil. That is, it's that soft. is soil. That is it. But it's full of stones. It's that's yeah. Alright, how short do those things need to be? Well, if you look at the pot, what you don't, you actually want. Yeah, it fits. It fits. <laughs> so, with your chopstick tomorrow, you will then be digging the soil in and around the tree as you push it down, because you're trying to reduce the the amount. If you in a nice downward motion. And what you're trying to do is remove air pockets from, by the, from where all the roots are. So you say like the really hard ones we yeah. trim? Get rid of. Mm -hmm. You've got all those small roots, the nice thin ones, they're the ones you want developing. Mm -hmm. It's not a race. I can't help it that I'm better than you. I'm just throwing stuff over there. Ah, I didn't see Katrina, you were there quietly chop chop sticking away. Wow. Finally my method! <laughs> Do you feel vindicated? I forgot to wire my Do you need to? You don't you don't need to, you're no, no, you don't actually. Right. You're making a big decision up yeah, that big one's gone, there it goes. Now we've got a gnarly. A gnarly, and you're gonna carve that sometime in the future with a Dremel drill. I got one next. <laughs> Dave looks like he's pretty well done. Just about a decision about some of these extra branches which I left. Okay. And. Alright. Okay. So have you watered it? Yeah. Okay. And then there's some rocks down there. You might find a rock of a nice size that you want to put on it just to give down support. Here. There's a rock there. If I throw it to there. Oh, look, I found a rock! Oh wait, let's get rid of that one because we've already got one at the end there. Bigger but rounded but ow, ow, cramped in my toe. <laughs>
Okay. I'm not sure whether to leave this in development or just to get rid of it. Okay. And the same advice I gave tomorrow is that that is going to, at the moment, you've got three branches coming from the same point. You've wired two of them, so those two you like. So the third one is probably the one that's low. It's, it's very straight, it's very thick. You could well be that with the shape you're going for, you just get rid of that. <laughs> this where I throw a rock at her and I actually hit her. What about that rock, Katrina? I've already seen this one. No, I'm using it to anchor it right. Oh, well, okay, got ya. Yeah, I've seen what you've done. under that root. Ah, that's actually quite a nice bit of invent inventiveness there. That's the point for that. Did I mention that you lose three points if you last? Yes, yeah, so I like the idea of what you're about to cut away. You're going to cut away a, about where those two branches are coming out, the little thin ones. They might be the new the yeah. leader, so you don't want that great hunking thing. So just a little bit above the junction might be a good place. Because the good thing you can do is later on in the year you can look at it and think actually I might cut a lot further back on that branch. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh wow. Produce a wire as well. <laughs> Lovely, okay. We've got James's down there. Still coming. And Kat's still trying to do something with the rock. Do you want to lower it a bit lower down? There we go, we can almost... <laughs> no, don't you lower down. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, maybe that way, Pa? Well, don't tell me. Probably, probably I wouldn't, I wouldn't be looking at that as the front. I think you're better off... That one's pressure. No, 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 no. No, it, no, the others look lazy. They look like... Mm, yeah, but that's how... These ones look like... Okay, there's <laughs> your front. Like okay, you front. decide. They look smart. It's put together. It's dynamic. Going it's dynamic. Well, a bit, bit threatening. Okay. Yes, it's threatening. <laughs> I think this one would look better upside down. You don't have enough money. <laughs> no, I, I like it. I see what we're doing. No, we're not having food fights. Oh, come on. We no, saw that one. Fight. Fight. No, no. It's mud fights. Look, come on. Okay. Savages. Pretty well. Aye. Okay. Got mud, though. You can move that wire out, James. You can move Oh, Ooh, no, it's not your skin, is it? <laughs> and of course, now they've all gone. My 40 or 50 pound pair of shears with stones and rocks and wire and everything. Left and everywhere. Yeah, they're messy. Very, very messy and I'm very, very... But they've, they've achieved four, so we'll see those a bit later on. They're all cleaning up at the moment. Well, I clean this up and hopefully I won't find that there's great big chunks out of the blades of my shears but anyway I think that that one should win you do so you've picked on to cats uh-huh so okay so let's have or a look which ones do you like one. why would you like that one because that one I like the way they wired it over and okay, the decoration so with the rocks is great so show people what you think of it put, put it pick it up carefully so this is the one which one would you like though so you like that because of all the wire that's on it yes but my second favourite is my Auntie Cat's. Okay, and why do you like that one? Because I like it because I like the way she cut cut it cut the thing. Okay. She really like made it look good. Hmm, fair enough. Okay, and what about Auntie Lexi's? Auntie Lexi's. This one nearest me. This one. Well, mm. I think she's done pretty well with the wiring. Right, I okay. Like it. Wiring's yeah. pretty good, you like that, it's very clean. Okay, so, and the last one? Uncle James's. You, is that the one you like least? <laughs> no, this, this is my third favourite. That's your third favourite, do you know who did that? Yes, Uncle James. No, Mama did that. Mama did this. So you thought, her, so you thought Uncle James was the best? Did she? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right, Lexi. Where's your front then? There. And why is that your front? Because it kind of looks like a spiral coming out at you. Okay, it's like a mothering bonsai. Yes, exactly. Okay, so it's, yeah, like I see, so it's got one branch is an arm around its young, and the other bra and the other branch is representing a whack. It's about Something to come like that, to, yeah. the, to the husband who's getting in the way. Okay, <laughs> do you want to just give that a 360 spin on there? Okay. We, yeah, okay. 
Since I'm going to say very, very good wiring technique, excellent wiring technique, and you did try to secure it in as well. Wiring's really good, and I like your thought process. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Sure, I'm still picking the mud out of my nails. So what was the hardest bit? Getting it to stand up right, because there's a little exposed root there. I was thinking I'd do something with that. Yeah. Right, Katerina. So, tell me about your design. Firstly, are we, have we got the front of the tree? Uh, yes, this is the front of the tree. Okay. I grabbed it like straight away because there was something I liked about the branch structure, the way it kind of like came out of it, and I thought it would just there was something more classic looking about it, which I really liked. Okay. So, the weird thing is that when I started to like manipulate it at first and like cut stuff off, is I straight away decided I really hated this one because the soil was quite high, so I couldn't see any of this, and I thought it's too low. I'll hit the pot, and it's just going to look awful. Um. Yeah, and then obviously when I started pulling all the roots away, I realised it actually had a really nice shape and I liked how it almost came out horizontally, the way it pulls away. So, Do you want yeah. to give, give it a 360 spin on the, okay. on the table? So we're talking about that extra long branch, you like the way that came out. Yeah, I might. I probably could have done, like, just maybe cut it back a little bit maybe, but I might have been a bit too timid too. Because okay. from that angle, which is basically how I was looking at first, I thought, oh, it's awful, let's get rid of the branch. But, I like the way it kind of leans to the side. Alright. These two I'm not very happy with. I think I cut them wrong. But, don't know if maybe what I should have done really with those two, but hey. Okay. Well, I think that's a pretty good effort. What was the hardest thing about it? Uh, probably right at the beginning when there was a lot going on I didn't know what I wanted to do and it was really hard to decide because once I'd made a cut I couldn't uncut it like yeah. this one I'd cut it and it was just too short I didn't yeah. like it so good. but uh, yeah under pressure good excellent so damn it yeah. first of all the front of your tree is that is that the way it should be is that how you wanted it it is I would probably give it a little bit more of a water though just to get rid of that mud there so we can see the the little Formation falling up there. So you're talking nice. about the Nabari. The Nabari, all right. Okay. That became discovered after I cleared away the roots. So yeah, yeah. Nice it's often an exciting discovery for a bonsai nerd. <laughs> they come back and say, Ooh, I found the Nabari. I'm a bonsai nerd. <laughs> yeah. I found the Nabari. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Nabari, Batman. And when uh, you scratch it, you can see gold. Indeed. So. Give it a little 360 so we can see the other potential angles. Right. If I just stop here, there, and from where I am right now, that looks like a very, very impressive front. Excellent. Um, because then you've got a nice split, and you've got a nice angle between the two, and also the two smaller ones tapering up are potentially going to give you a lot more, well, as Ryan Neal would say, sustainability in the future. And they're all growing together. Yeah. So. Continue to swizzle it. Now we can see the Do lightning it. strike. Yeah. And this branch here I wired a little bit because it was actually coming out towards here. Okay, so. So I wired it up to create more of a shape. Brilliant. I've been cutting it off. And how did you find working with wire? It was, well, the first time I tried it, I started from here and of course it didn't do anything. And then I overheard someone talking about an anchor and I thought I'd better find one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, here's Excellent. my anchor. And then use that to bend it towards. What was the hardest thing about doing this? Well, actually, what to chop. What to chop. What to chop, really. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's the common problem that anyone who's doing bonsai will always face is they never chop off enough mm. or they chop too much. Mm. But the best thing is, if it's a healthy tree, got lots of roots, it'll always grow back and tell you what shape it wants to be. Oh, they're like people, really. They just, you don't chop people. It's not a good idea. But they often tell you what shape they want to be. They do. <laughs> but I also like the rock. Yeah, that's a, that's a Stromzo rock. The Stromzo rock. It's a Stromzo rock, really like so it's it. come from up north. So, James, is that is that the front of your tree? Yes. Okay, so why did you pick that as the front? Because um, I felt the way the curve of the branches as they came forward towards you, whereas the back of it, there's too much of a gap here. Okay. And you're wiring there. I mean, you've have you wired every single branch. 
No, I haven't, I haven't wired this one. Okay. I haven't wired that one, but pretty much every branch, yes. Yeah, and how did you find wiring? Not too tricky. Uh, it was more tricky just not nipping off the buds as you're mm. spinning it around, but it was easy enough to wrap it and shape it. Okay, well, you've definitely, you've definitely won the prize for the most amount of wire and getting the most inventive shapes in there. Well, well I saw those two nice big branches, and I was like, I can either cut them down like traditional, or there was quite a good opportunity to bend them into a more of an intricate shape and try something different. Yeah. Do you want to give it a, a 360 then? So we can see there's potentially a front there. Okay. What do you mean here? No, yeah, just a bit round. It's, it's uh, when you when you see this back, you'll see what I mean. Okay. There's a front there. Okay, I can kind of see because these provide the backing. You've got the nice front. Yeah, it's. That's... I see. Yeah. Okay. What was the hardest thing about doing this? Some of the decisions for the branches to cut. You obviously mm. have to cut a lot more. As in, like this one's not really doing anything with the way I've gone. It might be best to get rid of that one. Um, there was a branch I'd kept here until the very end, and I already knew in my head that it wasn't really going to work with the design I had. But so I think the hardest part was taking that decision to make the cut. I actually really like that. I really really like that yeah. for originality, use of wire. I think, and the good thing about it, although there's lots of wire. When you take that wire off in a couple of months' time, you may well look and go, do you know what? I've got some real basic bending at the bottom and I'll cut all the way back. Oh, so you can cut back here and yeah, have it. because you've already got a bit of a bend going. So once that sticks and there's some lower branches that are coming out, they might become the new leaders for it. But you've, you've got options. There's so many options you've got there. So, yeah, yeah. definitely the best example of freestyle bonsai. <laughs> I think the, the modern bonsai, is, they'll go for that. Throw the rule book away. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Right, so unbeknown to all the others uh, who've been busy working their trees, you too had a tree to work on, didn't you Zita? Yes. And that's the one you've got in front, and they don't know that you were working on that one. No, I didn't Okay. Secret. Exactly, so this is before you've done all the work, and what we're going to do is before they all get up, we're going to get you to do a tree. Alright, so if you just show people the rest of that one, if you turn it around a little bit. Okay, yeah, you don't want to get away, okay. So... I'm going to give you a little bit of help, but now we're going to fade out and then we're going to show everyone what you managed to achieve, okay? You looking forward to this? Yes. Okay. Very much. So, obviously now we're seeing what you managed to make. How difficult did you find it? Um, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, and do you just want to spin what you managed to make? Just 360, it'll spin around, that's it. And did you find that hard to make? Yeah. What was the yeah. hardest thing, do you think? Attaching the stones to it. Attaching the stones, yeah, no, I can understand that. Um, are you quite happy with that, bearing yeah. in mind the material you had to begin with? Yeah. Yeah, do you think you should be the winner because of that? Yeah. Okay, well, ultimately I'm going to be the judge, but who knows, maybe someone on YouTube might turn around and say that you've done the best job. So we'll just close up on it. Um, I must be honest, I'm pretty impressed that you've managed to uh, create that from the material that we gave you. That's it, if you keep spinning it. I, I think we're going to be hard pressed to find another winner. That's a pretty good tree, Zeta. Well done.